I think it's interesting that we are talking about anxiety and not fear. I think there's a, mm-hmm. an important distinction to be drawn. Um, why is the 20th century or 21st century an age of anxiety? Um, in the past, I think people had a lot more to be frightened about, as, as Thomas just said, you know, early death, violent death. Um, you know, the world has become much safer. All the causes of fear have, um, or most of them, are no longer part of our everyday lives. And yet, um, in place of that, we've become more and more anxious. So mm-hmm. there seems to be an inverse correlation between fear and anxiety. Mm-hmm. And that strikes me as very interesting. Well, um, and, and if you, you, you should put your finger on, on what is the cause of your anxiety, while well, with fear, you can identify the cause. And well, that's the yeah, difference. that's, I mean, I mean, a lot of um, the modern talk of anxiety, of course, comes from Martin Heidegger. Mm-hmm. Um, his famous book, Being and Time, in which he analyzes angst. Mm-hmm. And he says exactly that, that uh, when you're frightened, there's something you're frightened of, you know, mm-hmm. a, a wolf or uh, it has an object. Whereas when you're anxious, you're not anxious about anything in particular. It's a, a sort of free-floating mood, well, which I, can be transferred from one thing to another. I'm not quite sure that's accurate because we are uh, anxious about certain things. Mm. I looked in the French newspaper yesterday and it was clear that if we were not going to be beheaded in the street, we were going to die of COVID. And if we didn't <laughs> die of COVID, we were going to live the rest of our lives in poverty. <laughs> so, so I think actually information and it's commentary, <laughs> information and commentary is uh, but the, very important. But in a way, this abundance of, uh, of causes of fear it dilutes fear into anxiety. Yeah. That's, and the anxiety can attach itself to this or this or this. This. Um, so when one cause of anxiety disappears, another immediately pops up to take its place. So, but journalists and and people thrive on on creating problems. I mean, you don't, don't nobody says, well, uh, last year the life expectancy was the highest ever. Uh, instead, Stephen the, Pinker does. Well, Stephen <laughs> Pinker does, but it doesn't have any effect because uh, we all know that uh, uh, fear is much greater than optimism. So. Um, uh, so I think the, the constant feeding of, uh, of dangers, <laughs> and you can see it even in small things, so that, for example, one of the things I've noticed, how traffic jams are so much worse during term time because parents are taking their children to school in cars, uh, whereas during holiday time they don't. And there's no reason why they should be taking their children to to schooling cars because the children could walk. But they're terrified.